Good day, viewers. It's I, Nice Good Souls, and I seven nine. The word call me is all good. I'm here once more today with an awesome receipt from a fair website, Camp Thought Avenue. Now, as you just must remember the old rule. Attention, please don't send the images of this OT from this video and give your permission on your private copy. These artists have worked hard for this and OC owners as well. Please spread time to create on this video and any other. If you need help creating OC, please contact the email below on the screen. Thank you for your time reading this and watching the video. Yeah, it's that time again for the Meet LC. The point of this video is called Crystal Summer. Nice name for this mayor. Wait a second, this doesn't sound like a place where you can go and spit some wine. Who knows? Hometown of Cantalot, occupation of Chocolatier, still a part time sword fighter. Crystal was born and raised in Cantalot, so the first five years of her life seemed to be very flawless. But it wasn't easy for her to be in this constant bad tension with her parents as they had. Already admitted to this, and we already can tell that Crystal has some bad parents as well. With this effort, what we have to go over the scene? The theme seemed to be perfect to outsiders. The tension was held on a daily basis by those who were close to the family. Only if somebody can see the unlikely friction between the parents, maybe some therapy could have fixed a small issue. Her parents have been growing apart in more and more each day in the past. The father still preferred the company of a secret lover over that of his wife. Since your friction eventually got out of hand, resulting in the early loss of Crystal's mother, so in illegal way. Just in case you're wondering how it happened, sadly there is too gravity to that story. Really after the loss of her mother, Crystal was taken in by two of her friend, mother's dearest friends, as it was very apparent that her father showed no interest in loving or keeping the inner mind of his past sick, as he called him himself. Crystal was taken in by Sirion and Alabaster. She was familiar with these two stallions as they had spent often a lot of time with each other on their mother's request. Though it seemed forced at first, it, se it was very clear that the two stallions adored Little Philly as if she was their own. Which is just good. Adopting is just as good as having a world that they can a child. Although these stallions were not romantically involved with each other or any pony house, it was arranged as quickly as possible to keep the Little Philly with them. Under their guidance, she was growing up to be a strong, loving mare. Okay, who else saw the Sirion and Alabaster ship? These shippers are going mad with power. But in all good fun, it's just nice to see two bastards raising a child. I think you can make a reward winning a sitcom on this idea. Then the discovery of her kitty mark appeared four years after the loss of her mother. And what it is will surprise you. I mean, it will surprise you. Crystal has always shown a high interest in swordsmanship from watching her two friends play matches with each other or watch movies that nearly had glued to the screen during the scenes of all plays of any kind. You can say she was shocked in the mark of Zoro or that remake, The Mask of Zoro. But still, the spark of interest in this film was great for the art of sword of blade work. Alabaster, having first known her interest and love for swordsmanship, offered her to teach her some basics if she wanted to. Instantly in green with this by any night's sleep on it. She soon enjoyed every moment of the basic training that she received. Proven to be a quick learner, she was much a, she was such a quick learner that she didn't master a small basic amount of hours, if not many. Alabaster, who raised the bar for the, her making things more difficult by step by step, that is until she managed to meet him during a playful and friendly bout. This match not only set in play that she would be into like the art of swordsmanship, but of victory nevertheless. Both times surprised how quickly she had picked up and taken off like a fish in water, and her kitty mark for love and skill, defense and swordsmanship. At that moment, her flight, it was like a bell, signaling her to learn more of this art. Crystal enjoys fencing and swordsmanship. She knew it would be hard to make a living off of it besides professional fencing, but she enjoys spending her time in the kitchen making several kinds of treats. This mare is super talented. Though mainly chocolates and pastries, her pleasure in making chocolate outweighs the pleasure in making pastries, and she decided to pick up a career and path of becoming a chocolatier. Which just shows that sometimes your dream can change. It's not at first, it's not at second, but it's at third, the personality tree. At first sight, this may, not, may seem to be somewhat distant and formal, but if your OC takes the time to look past that, they will get to know a caring and tomboyish mare. She isn't a snobby mare at all, but fun, instead of a funny mare. She is also some funny that is not afraid to speak her mind and also enjoys to pick up her rapier for some training on the field near Pound, Camp Lotto, or Ponyville for a free time. Crystal enjoyed making friends, but was also careful in giving out her trust out. Having learned the hard way that sometimes that those folks can break your heart and your trust, just easily strangers and lovers can. But once your OC gets to know her, she will not hesitate to share her dreams or wishes with them. In return, she will be there as close as she can be 24 7, day or night, and she's prepared to help always help a friend out in the best way that she can. Do it. Those who blend in well can't allow you. Prefer the open fields and forests over riches and luxuries of can't allow. When asked what would she prefer, she would simply reply, I prefer a nice party match over any shopping day. 
In short, Crystal is a tomboyish and mischievous but love fun loving mare. Crystal loves spending time with those who are close to her, whether it's inside or outside of camp lot. Her favorite music is Celtic Mare, which really is a real life group called the Celtic Women. Celine Dion as well, but which is really necessary in the time of writing the script. We're gonna think of another name that she went by in her past. Her favorite food and drinks are fruit tea, fruit nectar, herbal tea, and bottled water with hints of the lemon. She prefers salads and fish with good pasta dish over anything related to potatoes and fast food. Her favorite flowers are roses of any kind, lily preferred in calendar lily, and lavender. Her dislikes are, are arguments as it reminds her of her past days when she was still in contact with her father and would do anything to avoid arguments, including walking off without a reply in return. Crystal also has a deep phobia of spiders, wasps, and anything narrow place that calls the living to a slight state of anxiety when she's in one place or small. Well, that was a good look at this awesome OC. I wish you the best of luck in your endeavor. Now it's time to end the video and I hope to you, the faithful viewer, had a good time watching. Now, DJ, play us out! The music in this video was produced by B. Key, a famous running musician is all right. And the visual town is going to Archery Reaver, a well-known artist in the community. Please support them by going to the links in the description. I hope that you enjoy the works I did. Remember to smile.